Holla at me. This is Boss Panda. <laughs> Fringe Beats. I just woke up, so I'm really tired. This is going to be a Fraps tutorial that someone asked for a long time ago. Um, so basically, this is how I have my Fraps set up right here. Uh, I have the folder that I want to save the Fraps in because these Fraps movies are quite large. Um, as you can see, this Fraps drive that I'm going to is almost three terabytes should be three but you know you get owned on the installation anyways <laughs> I got that my fast movies go into that drive um, I set up my hotkey I keep it at F9 because it's just out of the way and <laughs> you know I don't want to hit my I don't want to fat finger it while I'm, um, while I'm playing um, I have to record Skype and all that stuff I have record win 7 sound um, that records my friend's side of Skype, and then for my side of Skype, I had put record external input. Now mine says microphone, creative, SB, XFi, but it'll say, you know, other things for whatever your microphone is. So it usually selects the default microphone, so just make sure that if you want to record your side of Skype, it's the correct microphone. Because I, when I have my recording mic set up, it'll select that one if I have it set to that as default. Um, for video capture settings, you don't need more than 30 FPS. Um, it'll lock your frame rate at 30 FPS, even if this is unchecked. For, at least it does it for me. So I just keep it how it is, as you can see. Um, full size, go full size because if you record half size, um, I believe it messes with the resolution and you won't get the high quality that you want from your videos. I could be wrong, but um, this is just how I use it. There are many like it, but <laughs> this one is mine. So, when you go into a game, let's see if I can open one up. I don't know what I want to open. I guess I could open a game of League, but then everyone would message me. Sad face. I'll open up Sonic. He's safe. Or not. Say yeah. There we go. Okay. So when you when you get in a game like this, you wanna press F9 and it'll start recording. Now there should be numbers on one side of the screen, like in, in any corner. Um, what you want to do if you don't see that is you want to press F12 until it shows up because what that'll do is it'll give you an idea if you're recording or not. Red numbers means that you're you're actively recording. Um, yellow numbers means that you're not recording. But either way this will track your frames per second so if you want to know how many frames you're getting in a game this is actually a good tool for that too if you don't have like awesome 3D mark benchmarking and shit like that. So, um, anyways, if there's any further questions, let me know. I'll, I always respond to comments. You guys know that. So, just let me know. And this is the new Sonic. I'm so pro. JK. Ha ha ha. Later, guys.